What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is going to be another Delta Force video. I'm going to be providing two different G3 builds, one more budget friendly and one that's going to be, quite frankly, a cheat code. I'm hesitant to give this to y'all, but if you have fun with it and enjoy it, my job is done. So we're going to start with the uh, higher end build. I would recommend having a couple million liquid in your stash before playing with these types of builds because they do take some time to get used to and it's kind of tailored more for a play style that I've evolved into over many different titles. So let's talk about that play style. The best operator to use for doing this is going to be Luna. We're going to be providing a lot of information. Every single thing in her kit provides different vision, whether it be her ult, her shock arrow, grenades, all damage to enemies that your teammates will be notified and you will get to see them behind cover, things like that. So that's where this build comes into play using both Luna and her abilities. And then this build, you should have a lot of success, but you have to try to play wide angles, play safe. You're basically a marksman rifle. You're not gonna be doing too much fully auto, close range fighting with this type of stuff, but we're gonna kit it with a laser so you can survive if you do get stuck in that situation, someone pushing you, things like that. Maybe you decide to go to a safe or whatever. Nonetheless, this is about a 200, 250,000 build. So let's start at the top, at the tip. <laughs> we're gonna be doing silent suppressor. Can't calibrate these but go with the silent suppressor. You're gonna be going to the laser. I like the blue laser, it's easy to see. I'm gonna show you why in just a minute. You can actually map people at 50 meters with it pretty consistently with this build. So go ahead and go with the blue laser. On the angled grip here, we're gonna calibrate it, max both. I'm gonna to touch on this once so I ain't gotta repeat myself. This build, we're going for maximum movement when we're not aiming, right? So if we do get spotted or Counterfired, we can strafe, get out of the line of fire, things like that, and then maximum control. We don't really care about ADS speed, ADS movement, none of that stuff because we are a glass cannon. We're sitting there putting damage down range, and our play style doesn't really get into trading too much and, and high movement types of engagements. Go ahead and get you a 50 round drum mag if you can't afford it. If you can't, then you probably shouldn't be doing this, but you can do the other one, it doesn't really matter. Get the skeleton grip, and we're gonna calibrate it right here for movement stability again, extra control. And this stat right here is very important. It sucks that you're losing this. Aiming stability while breathing. Again, we don't care about hip fire. Aiming stability while breathing, it's gonna sway, but you need to get in the habit of when you aim in. The lungs and holding your breath in this game is actually very long. So get in the habit of when you aim in to touch shift, put it on a toggle if you wanna play it that way. Mine's on a toggle and hold your breath because it's very important. And you're gonna go to the 416 light stock. You don't have to go crazy with the stocks here. It doesn't make that much of a difference. So you can save a little bit of money. Again, maxing it out for firing stability here in this case, which is nice. And then extra control. Again, we don't care about these two stats too much. Probably wondering why I don't have like a recon scope or the LPVO or something like that. You can go with the hammer if you want. I don't like them, but the red dot is nice. So if you wanna go that route, go for it. I simply throw on the 3X because there's no glint. If you put on these scopes, guys, and I, I don't think this has a place in the extraction mode. I think it's stupid. They need to remove it. It makes no sense. I understand it for Havoc mode, but if I put on the scope here, it's gonna have a glint. So you'd have to buy a kill flash to cover it and it still doesn't do much. I don't want them to know where I'm at because they're gonna shoot the light and I'm, I'm gonna die, right? So get used to using the 3X. I think it's fine because we're gonna calibrate it to give you as much of a uh, magnification as we can. We're gonna max out this. This, but we can actually leave the pupil distance where it is so we can have a little bit of a peripheral when we are fighting or aiming. So all that's done. Let's go in the firing range and let me show you a few things. So first and foremost, what I talked about with the TBL. So this enemy right here is at 50 meters. If we are in full auto, this is what it is going to look like. Close quarter engagements. Again, this is not preferred, but this is what it looks like. Pretty smooth. And then even at range, if your shot starts to suffer, you can just tilt and, and mow them down. But again, now let's talk about using this in single shot. I'd recommend always having at least M80s if you can. When we aim in, we're going to hold our breath and we're going to just tap. All right. You're going to get a lot of assists. Again, you're giving them information every time you shoot with Luna. Make sure you throw pings and stuff like that as well. Her grenades go far, and then you apply this build. You will get to be a constant annoying pressure and a lot of damage to the enemy. I want to show you what the full auto looks like. This is again about 50 meters. So it's not too bad. But again, I like to play it with the marksman type of style and try to make every shot land. I don't want to get to spraying. 
I don't want to get to spraying and giving myself away, so I try to make my shots count. That's the build for the uh, high end G3. Now let's move into the other one. This is a little more budget friendly. Not going to be able to play too much at the longer ranges. We're going to go with a practical suppressor. It's about 26K. We're going to go with this. We're just going to go with a regular red laser light combo. Again, if you can get a bigger mag, go for it. Skeleton grip again. We kind of need it. It's just better. The other one hurts our control and stuff too much. So we're going to calibrate it the same way. This one, I set the thickness at about 14 instead of maxing it out. I just throw the cheap practical vertical grip on there. Again, I calibrate it for control and movement stability. The practical tactical stock. I'm going to calibrate it like this, 50 and plus 2. And then the reflex sight max out the zoom so you can have a little bit of a magnification. And this build's going to be about half the price of the other one, so it's nice. So first, we'll start with the laser. Again, always turn your lasers off. They come on automatically when you have that sight toggled. So always leave them off. I'll show you what full auto looks like. Now let's move on to the sight. Again, we're holding our breath. But again, we're going to try to shoot M80s or better here. And we're going to try to play those long angles and get information, like I said before. That's the build, guys. I'm going to upload both of these builds right now. It will be in the description. Make sure you just copy and paste the builds if you want to use it. I will show you how to do that real quick. It's kind of fluky. So you're going to buy yourself a G3. You're going to go to modify. You're going to go to loadout. You're going to go to share loadout. And you're going to import. Copy the whole code after the dash in the description. After it's applied, it's going to show, like if you do this right here, pre-apply. Now you're previewing. You're probably wondering, well, why it's, I, I want to buy the items. Go back to modify. That gun is applied, and you're going to press purchase. And that is how you get the two builds. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Hey, if there's any other guns you want me to look at and try to find the optimal builds for, make sure you just comment them real quick, and I will get on that as soon as I can. Hope you're enjoying Delta Force. Make sure you join the Caliber Collective. Also, I'm going to leave a link to that Discord in the description as well. And if you don't mind, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all future Delta Force content. I'm loving the game and I'm going to be pushing out as much content as I can on the game. Also follow the stream. I stream sometimes. That's all I got, guys. I will catch you on the next video. Thank you.